now, everybody. It's Aaron, and welcome to this week's Market Minutes. Uh, if you are in the market for a new home, track the market to get a sense of value of your current home, or just love looking at houses as much as we do, this is the show for you. Let's do this. All right, before we jump into some houses, I'm going to throw it over to Jeff. He's got a fantastic new listing in Westlake Towers in Bethesda, just hitting the market. Jeff, tell us about it. Super excited about my listing coming out live today, 7420 Westlake Terrace, number 1011. That's the Westlake Towers, right near Montgomery Mall, Cabin John Park, Home Depot, the post office. It's such a great location. I lived in this building for a few years. Both of my kids were born there. I love this building. This unit is great. We worked with the sellers before bringing it to market to freshly paint it and put in hardwood flooring so that it's really move-in ready. Both bedrooms are generous sized with walk-in closets and two good bathrooms. You've got a 24-hour security with a front desk. You've got a fitness room, party rooms, a huge outdoor pool for summertime fun. All of your utilities are included in your condo fee. You can walk to Montgomery Mall right across the street or Cabin John Park, and you've got easy access to get anywhere in the area. You're not going to find a better value in all Bethesda. We've got an open house this Sunday from 1 to 4. I hope you come by and visit me. That's all I've got. Thanks, Aaron. All right. Thanks, Jeff. All right. Let's kick it off this week in Bethesda. 5303 Glenwood Road just hit the market at 800K. Um, if walkability is your top priority, you want that Bethesda location, I think this is a strong play. Uh, this is in the Glenwood neighborhood, just off Old Georgetown near the intersection of Huntington Parkway. Look, the house needs just about everything, uh, but I think there's opportunity here to open up this floor plan and create a really cool space. Um, there are currently two bedrooms and one bath upstairs and another full bedroom and bath on the main level. Uh, they've got a solid brick 1950s structure here. It's brick all the way around. I think you could definitely uh, expand that upper level, get three bedrooms and another master bath up there uh, with the right architect. Um, I love that this house has a garage and it's got a decent little yard in the back. Um, and again, location is phenomenal. Um, I think, you know, at 800K, if you put a couple hundred thousand, maybe even 300,000 into this property, uh, you could definitely see that money on the back end. Now, if you decide to pop out some more babies and need more space. All right, I'm going to stay in Bethesda for another one in the always sought after Kenwood Park neighborhood. 6256 Clearwood Road just came to market at $1,495. Uh, Clearwood is a particularly nice street. It's a nice, quiet area of Kenwood Park. You got a large 15,000 square foot lot here. It's really flat as a pancake. Backs up to Whitman High School. Uh, which is definitely a unique feature. You're going to hear uh, a lot of the games going on back there. So that might keep some people away from this. Uh, the house itself is pretty groovy. Um, this was built in 1968. It was definitely cutting edge in its design and way larger than a lot of the other mid-century models from that era. Uh, I love the huge open spaces in here. It's just screaming for somebody to open up this kitchen uh, got great space in that kitchen without needing to uh, really adjust that space. You can do a massive island kitchen, open that up pretty easily to that main back room space. Uh, and then this whole main level will just be completely open. Um, you got uh, a huge primary suite upstairs, sizable bathroom, and then three really generous uh, secondary bedrooms and two more full baths. So lays out really nicely on the second level. Uh, very cool basement as well. Uh, completely full walkout to the backyard. Um, also makes for you got another bedroom and bath suite down there and rec room. A lot of good stuff going on in this house. Um, I think it's a great house. I wonder if 1.5 is pushing the number a little bit too much given the work it needs. Um, I could see somebody who really wanted Kenwood Park and there's been very few things that have come up in the neighborhood recently. So I, I think there's a pool of buyers out there sort of chomping at the bit for the neighborhood. But I could see one of them looking at this as a long term play, doing a few things uh, prior to move in and then updating it as they go. Um, I think this pops quick, but I don't think it's going to see a huge escalation.
because there's been such a lack of inventory in Kenwood Park, and I think this house offers a great amount of space, I'm gonna go ahead and call it my hot deal of the week and suggest you check it out. All right, last one for you today, out in Potomac, 12208 Hickory Wood Court is coming to market at a million two eighty five. This is in the Fallsbury subdivision, uh, which is near the intersection of Falls and Tuckerman. It's a good close-in Potomac location. Uh, these are 1980s builds in a mostly 1970s area. Um, it's definitely still got um, some of that 80s, 90s vibe in it, uh, and definitely most evident in the kitchen. Uh, but this is a boss of a house, over 6,000 square feet of finished space here. Um, that's a huge space. You could do something amazing without needing to expand the footprint, which is going to cost you a ton of money these days. Um, again, open up that incredible family room space to the kitchen. Um, and I think you've got really something spectacular here. It's another large living room and office and flex space on this main level. Uh, in the 80s, they figured out that people love huge primary suites. Um, so this house has a massive bedroom and bathroom, couple walk-in closets as well. Uh, three large bedrooms and two more baths upstairs, one of those being en suite, fantastic. Uh, basement is completely finished. Um, it's really a sea of tile down there right now. Um, not my favorite tile either. I think you could uh, cover this up with carpet or some kind of floating floor, really warm this space up and make it a great space. Be another bedroom and bath downstairs as well. Uh, the party is in the back on this house. Uh, there's a massive covered porch, a huge deck, and a really large in-ground swimming pool with spa back there. Uh, not a ton of yard space, but this is on a cul-de-sac and there's some room in the front yard for playing. Um, I think it's an awesome house. If you're cool living with it the way it is, uh, I think you know, updating this over time would be fantastic. Um, the one thing that's gonna hold this property back is there are some power lines back behind the property. It appears to me they're concealed pretty well, but I haven't put eyes on it yet because it's not on the market. So I'll get a look at that, um, but you know, I think it pops, but I don't think it gets crazy on the price. If you're looking in that under one three range in Potomac, I think this house offers a lot for the money uh, in a fantastic location. All right, that's going to do it for this week, guys. Thanks always for tuning in. Give us a follow at Jeweler Burton on Facebook or Instagram. If you know anybody who's getting in the market and think could use our assistance, please reach out. You know, we'd love to help. Have a good weekend, everybody. Later.